Samuel, today you were against Alexi Shirov. And in the opening, your game was the center of attraction. Everyone was watching it. Can you tell us what happened and was it your preparation? Uh, thank you. And uh, yes, a uh, few days back, uh, Mr. Alexei Shirov had this position, the same position against Vidit. And uh, of course, I, I knew that game and I checked with, uh, with uh, new engines. And uh, the thing is, uh, in uh, Vidit's game, uh, after A6, uh, Vidit went uh, King B1 and uh, Shirov played C5, G4, and here Shirov took on D4, E takes D, and played Knight B6. So instead of taking C takes D, Knight B6 is the strongest, according to engines. Uh, yes, but there I also checked that uh, Bishop E6 is the move. For example, if you take C takes D4, there is Bishop C1 move. For example, Bishop E6, F takes E doesn't work because of G5. Yes, but couldn't expect that uh, Shiro will repeat and uh, will go uh, for, for this line. And then uh, there he played, uh, so yes, instead of going uh, repeating uh, with its game, I went E4 because uh, engines are showing that E4 is stronger even. That the point is if you go knight B6 attacking my C4 bishop and D4 pawn, I'm just going knight E2, knight takes C4, queen takes C4. And uh, white is having some slight uh, edge. Uh, but after e4, and now the, the trick is being that uh, that's why it's better to start uh, with b5 then a6. Because here when he played, uh, Mr. Shirov uh, went b5 and now I'm having bishop e6, f takes e5. And here according to my engines the best is to play king f7 and after e takes f, knight takes f6. Where white is having uh, uh, king b1, I guess uh, later on you should uh, play some knight e2, knight c1, knight d3 and white is having some slight uh, pressure. Yes, but I was very much surprised when he played uh, quickly knight d5 because according to my engines, uh, uh, this afternoon I checked, uh, it's more than plus one. So knight takes d5, you don't have e takes d because queen g6 and e6 is coming and you are losing d7 knight or f7, queen f7 mate uh, threat is coming. So c takes d, queen g6, king f8 and here h4 is important move according to engines. And I Why to play h4? I think h4, first of all, your threat is being h5, h6, and also you are taking control of, over h4 square, which is very important. And here, I, I before uh, coming to the game, I noticed that the, the first, uh, the top choice, uh, top line of engines are, uh, instead of knight b6, the way uh, Mr. Sh Mr. Shirov played is to play rook c8 check, king b1, rook c6, rook c1, knight is going b8, rook takes c6, knight takes c6, queen takes c6, and uh, yes, th this is what uh, I, I knew. But Shirov instantly, almost instantly, went knight b6, so I guess uh, king b1 is the only move because black is always threatening queen e8, and after queen e6, queen c8 check is coming, so I played king b1. So knight c4, he is threatening knight takes d2 and rook h6. So that's why I played bishop c1 to keep uh, control over h6 square. And uh, yes, here uh, queen e8 was important, uh, queen e6, queen f7. And uh, the very strange decision of mine was you fight it, uh, and I myself wanted to keep the queens, but the thing is, like, it's not easy to, to keep. Because if I go queen h3, then h4 is hanging. If I go queen g4, then always black is having g6 moves, let's say. But uh, I uh, realized that queen f7, king f7, h5, white is playing, and my uh, positional threat is being to just push f4, f5, or f4, g4, f5. Yes. And, uh, but I was very uh, much surprised when after the game, um, Mr. Shirov um, uh, said that uh, a few days back he checked, and according to his engines and his analysis, a position after g6, h takes g, king g6, g4, even the way he played rook, uh, a to g8, I, I went f4, king f7, rook h8, rook h8, f5, and here he said that uh, probably the best is to play rook h2, and uh, that that's his analysis, uh, he just couldn't remember uh, over the board. All uh, of this was his preparation? Yes, probably he checked, uh, wow. at least what, what uh, Mr. Shirov said this to, uh, to me after the game, because after rook g8, f6, of course he is already getting um, some light squares, but the problem is being that uh, my pawns are very strong, like e5, f6, g5, and 
uh, his uh, knight on c4 is uh, very badly placed and always I'm having rook h1, rook h7. Yes, and the rest I guess was just to calculate uh, till the end, just to see the uh, four forcing lines. So, where so I'm maybe his engine was not correct, that's what could be possible or? Uh, I really, because uh, the engines uh, I'm uh, using, I'm very much sure that they are, uh, they are quite good and uh, at least uh, in a very high depth uh, and they are costing uh, quite expensive <laughs> so I'm hoping that uh, at least my engines are showing uh, the, the right evaluation and uh, but but I was really mm, uh, surprised when Mr. Shirov uh, after the game said that uh, uh, it was all his analysis and uh, he knew that the evaluation is around equal. Unbelievable yeah this is like uh Two people have used engines but both have come to different conclusions but uh, in the end the fact that you won the game uh, shows that maybe your engines and your evaluation was correct. Uh, I think yes. I think yes. Fantastic. Well Samuel thank you for sharing this analysis and also congratulations for this big win. Thank you.